so that tithes money they would be reducted directly from all workers. Oh my God, what is wrong with Af Africans? What is wrong with our mentality? In fact, let me proceed. Make I read it again. Hmm. And, uh, we are tired of putting money in the basket of all the time. I don't understand this. La, uh, Lawanga said he wanted Uganda to tow the line of Germany. We are citizens who are registered as Catholics, Pentecostals, and Jews have a church tax called Christian. Have you seen my beautiful baby? first time please don't waste time to eat on the red button below the said subscribe and also the notification bell. thank you guys i also thank all my returning subscribers i love you guys so much and those who are seeing my video for the first time please 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 subscribe subscribe and also eat on the notification bell thank you thank you thank you um uh, today our message today is from a bishop bishop from uganda this man <laughs> churches these days now because some people need they like to pay their tithe completely due to the economic problem the poverty for the system and the lack of um, jobs and some people need they get plenty money so for that reason they need to pay their tithe completely so uganda bishop now don't rise up tell the government now say the government now should be reducting tithe money from every salaries of <laughs> they should reduct all the salaries they should reduct all the tithes from all salaries every person made the work before the government will give the workers money unbelievable <laughs> all this our all this our african religious leader they are so crazy like seriously they should reduct tax after it after government will reduct tax then government should reduct tithe tight before the money go give to the people may work their money africans you guys should wake up eh? in fact the heading if you go to google maybe you want to see the complete story the title is uh, government should reduct tithes from workers salaries and forward to church this one is from bishop from catholic church the name of the bishop most Reverend Saipre Kitito Lawanga, a Catholic bishop of Kampala, Uganda, has proposed that the central government deduct 10% from the monthly salaries of workers and forward it to and forward the, dedu uh, the deductions directly to the church. He started he started this at St. Mary's Cathedral, Rubanga, during mass, during mass, according to cities, according to city, citizen TV, he said, no payment of tithes affects project development in the church. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that is me. Whenever we ask for tithes, everyone gives only what they have at the time but the bible says a tenth of whatever you hand belongs to the church give me your support as i front this proposal because it is it is good for us that is now proposal in the gift to the government may the government approval so they give all the tithes of all 
church workers <laughs> pay them to the church account because most people now they like to pay their tithe correctly <laughs> instead of pastors bishop reverend to talk to the government african government to fix the economic problem so that we will get jobs they will create jobs when we get jobs we will go fit pay tithe and besides we are the right and say you must pay the tithe what are the pastors the bishop the reverends doing with all those tithes they have been collecting all this why there are so many hungry people in the church maybe the pastors they, they close their eyes they don't want to see the problem of the people right in the church but they are they, they profession their profession that to they have their base their home business is to collect tight 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 now they don't propose to government to government to approve so that tight money they would be reduction directly from all workers oh my god what is wrong with Af africans what is wrong with our mentality in fact let me proceed make i read it again hmm. Aren't, uh, we are tired of putting money in the basket of all the time. I don't understand this. La, uh, La Wanga said he wanted Uganda to tow the line of Germany. We are citizens who are registered as Catholics, Pentecostals, and Jews have a church tax called Christian, Christian Tour of 80 to 90% deducted from their annual income the church tax is collected by the government and and then the church the church tax is collected by the government and all respective faiths they go channel them to their <laughs> i don't think i read that place again bless i do mistake the church tax is collected by the government and channel to the respective faiths that is all they will collect in the talk waiting they happen for um germany but in don't forget say germans they create jobs you see the jobs made them create for that german eh the all of africa put together nothing creates the jobs make german get for their citizens not only their citizens as long as you are living in that country you get jobs now now to collect tax, tithes. Now you don't they say me that they copy the way Germans they do, but Africans they no go copy the way Germans they create jobs for their workers or for their people. Even if you are not from that country, as long as you are living in a Western world, you will get job to do because you have tax to pay, bills to pay. But Africans they bring only bills, bills for their citizens to pay. They no they no care how the citizens take the payout. They no create jobs for the citizens. Like for Nigeria, they bring crazy amounts of NEPA. NEPA will bring crazy bills, say nine be and ten thousand, twenty thousand, say you go pay for lights. Where they work? Minimum wage now eighteen thousand. And if they bring payment for lights, may they pay for twenty thousand per month. How they want to pay them? When they copy German and German they do like this and they do like this. One and another couple copy them for the good parts. Maybe they do. Maybe they create jobs for the people. Only when I want me on a law, I want put law, face the law, make the law be like the way German they face their law. Crazy African leaders, eh? Hey, religious leaders and the, and the political leaders, they are so crazy. According to him, again, he said, I was told Germans make agreements with their government to deduct monthly tight from their salaries and forward it to the church and this money they use it to build and renovate their churches what nonsense you as a personal person you bishop reverend whoever you be a religious leader you're supposed to get your own work made they do personally in case those people fail to pay their tithes so that you will carry from your salary take renovate the church you know go based on tithes because maybe everybody gets to pay tithes because maybe everybody for that country maybe they, they for that country african country and they see food chop someday they need to get common ten thousand naira for salary some they even get like dollars dollars like maybe 20 some people salary for africa now they over reach 50 dollars for the whole month and you can't expect that kind of person to pay tight accordingly 10% as Bible token. Over the Bible said, Oh, right them. Who they where they write the Bible? Who they where they write the Bible? I will not take this shots and I'm waiting Holy Spirit tell them when they write. 
and you must do it according to Bible. Ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. If you get work to do, some people their minimum wage, their maximum wage, their every wage made they get is not up to hundred dollar for Africa. And you expect that kind of person to reduct ten percent from that hundred dollar, even if the person gets children. So you know, the Africans they born plenty of children. You get like ten children. You pay their school fees, you pay their rent, and you feed them. How you expect that kind of person to pay 10% compulsory? You must pay it monthly. It's not possible now because the system is completely corrupt. Because the government no not provide jobs for the, uh, for the citizens. Because the, the, the citizens don't have money to overeat. And the religious leader add, they have so much up to the S10. Maybe you say a religious leader will get more than two to three private jets and you still they insist say your common members may know they get minimum wage their minimum wage is hundred thousand and hundred dollars they you, you expect them to pay their tithes monthly no matter the situation no matter over if they get money problems they must pay their tithes to you because they are slaves to you or because it is written in the bible it is also written in the bible that the poor people made them take care of the poor people. The church is supposed to take care of the pure poor people. But the pastors are not doing that. That one is written in the Bible. But the pastors, they neglect all those places for Bible. Charity, nine church supposed to be in reality. When I don't have, I go, I get. When you have too plenty, you bring. But now the church, church now don't turn to business. Now pastor from Uganda, they ask government. Propose to government, government should approve it to be collecting, deducting all the tithes from all workers and sent to them before their salary go pay to their account. What nonsense! All these bishop, reverend, pastors, apostles, you guys are criminals. What is wrong with you people? What? Reduce salaries, reduce tithes, compulsory. Now, not be if you like. If I thought before, they say when well, give your tithe and open it. oh my God, Africa, who do us this kind of thing? Hey, I don't lose my my patience before I tighten. Say I no go lose my patience if I address this topic. I go try by all means to compose myself because make it not be like say me and pastors who get waiting we never finish all. I I they very sad all. <clears throat> but now I don't lose them. My people, I don't know where to now one talk for this very topic. It is sad, so sad. Our African leaders, African religious leaders, they are after tight. They are not after winning souls to God anymore. They are not after after oh God. Now I make you go see there. Eh? Pastors these days, bishop, reverend, apostles. They write books they sell. Or in, you think say that they write all those books just to win souls to God. Then they write them just to just to get money. Because when they when you buy those books, you get money from them. These days we no longer read our Bible. Pastors, these days don't encourage us to read our read our Bible anymore. Instead, they will encourage us to buy their books. You focus on your pastor's books more than the Bible. The Bible, may not believe, when I believe in, on the Bible so much, you don't read your, you need to study your Bible again. What thing you study most is your pastor books, your pastor's handouts, your pastor's dictionary. Now you need to read to take, live a rightful life. You don't read and study your Bible anymore. All you do is to focus on your pastor handouts. I call them handouts, dictionaries. You buy anointing oil, anointing stove, anointing stickers, anointing ribbon, anointing bangles, anointing pants, anointing brazier, anointing lipstick, everything now is anointed. You don't even know if the Bible is existing anymore. You focus on all these artificial things make your pastors they create. You focus on there and leave the Bible. The Bible now is no more useful to us anymore. Africans, you guys should wake up from your sleep. China's and so many Western world, they have gone far. Even our African, like South Africa and uh, Ghana's.
Let me see you.